Hi guys, welcome to Crypto Crazy. Um, there's been a lot of talk lately about light hash rate on lock. Um, so we talk a little bit about what that means. Um, it's been not relevant at all to my rig up until this point because I've just been running 1660 supers and it doesn't apply to them. So we're going to talk about that in a sec after this. So what is LHR, light hash rate? Well, it was a limit applied during the uh, graphics card shortage um, by NVIDIA um, of the performance of some of their newer cards like this one here that you can see, the 3070 Ti. That technology is now totally unlocked. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to remove a 1660 or two out of my rig and put in this 3070 Ti. Um, and we're going to see how, they, how it performs alongside the, the tough 1660 and one of the Gigabyte 1660s um, and have a look at bang for buck. Okay, as you can see, I've just put the rig in to maintenance mode and it pops up here, as you saw just a moment ago. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna shut the rig down and stick in the 3070. We are going to take out these two 1660s, the Gigabyte 1660s, to put in this single Three, uh, RTX 3070 Ti. Uh, main reason is this is only on loan. It's just for the purpose of this exercise. And um, I'd have to just fiddle about with the wiring on the rig um, to allow me to sque squeeze that one on as well. So I'm just going to take these two out, put that one in, and then see how these two Davids cope against this Goliath. Right, let's go. Okay, here we are. So 3070's in. Look at the size difference. Oh my gosh. So I've left this one in place, though I've disconnected it. As you can see, because I needed the power for this one. And without messing up my rig too much, as it was just for this exercise, I figured I would do that. So, let's plug it in. Let's see how it performs. Okay, so far so good. So all the fans are spinning on the cards that should be spinning. Um, I hope I've unplugged <laughs> the right one. I should use different color cables in future. So you can see two supers and it can see, if you can see on the screen here, look at that, one, 3070 Ti. So I think we're good. We're going to switch now to the other screen and configure it. So now I've managed to turn the fan speed down to about 70%, it's flat out 99%. That's not too bad considering. So doing very well. I'm getting an extra 20 mega hash than I was getting with four 1660s. So just adding this with two 1660s and one 3070, I'm getting an extra 
20 mega hash and the bottom consuming an extra 50 watts of power so that's not bad not bad at all i suppose so we've been running for nearly three hours now and i just thought i'd check in and see how it's looking from this screen's perspective now interestingly so you can see it's around 78 mega hash for the 370 and you can see the 1660s the difference between the G the gigabyte and the asus there but there's another stat i'm sorry this is bouncing around the screen but because it's live there um the gigabyte's doing 423 kilohash per watt the asus one is doing 437 kilohash per watt and the one that's in there now that is actually turned off um the other gigabyte is actually better than that still so if you look at kilohash per watt for the rtx 370 it's actually only 418 so that's get, gets me thinking so i'm gonna do some more maths and we'll come and have a look and we figure out depending on your strategy i think which would be the best choice do you buy the more expensive and very impressive um, rtx range or do you just go steady away with a 1660 okay so i've had a look at the numbers and i th it's quite comparable when you have a look at the performance the um, power consumption versus hash rate and take into consideration the cost of the cards on the initial investment so looking at 1660 supers versus the rtx 3070 ti so you can get on amazon right now maybe two and a half uh, uh 1660s for the cost of 13070 ti um but if you went on ebay you could probably pick up three uh 1660s supers for the same price as one rtx card so then when you look at it like that um even with lhr um you're starting to look at hmm, that might actually be more sensible uh, depending on the size of the rig you've got, what your budget is. But if you're just a hobbyist like me with one small rig um, in a living space, then um, I'm still voting for um, the 1660s. And here's why. There's a couple of reasons why. The um, Though the RTX ones are very impressive, they are quite noisy. So um, it, it's OK if you're going to stick them in a garage or in a basement. You've got some dedicated space away from the house. For me, I don't know. It's an, in in a room in the main house and it's up on the shelf and it purrs along quite quietly and it doesn't interrupt anybody and uh, it runs quite cool as well which is great um, however if you're in a rush to mine ethereum before it ends uh, because we now don't know when proof of stake is going to be um, it, we were told june now i'm hearing august possibly october beyond being very non-committal there seems to be a plan in place now but um, how long it's going to take to execute that um, I don't think anybody knows that. So we'll see um, what happens. With that in mind, is it now a good time to make such an investment? We don't know. So for me, I'm quite happy with my choice of staying with 1660s. The rig's back up and running with all my 1660s. I've returned the RTX 3070. That was lots of fun uh, to play with. Thank you for the loan, Crypto Stig. And... Um, I think that's what I would do. You need to consider your mining strategy. Do you have one? Um, are you just quite happy uh, playing with the technology, putting things together, seeing what happens? Uh, for me, I started this out with a very clear plan on um, when I'd like to see a return on the investment I put in to build the rig in the first place, and then how long I would continue to mine um, to, uh, to make my profit. Now, um, whether I mine or not beyond that point, because um, this has just been um, the experiment, um, we'll see how it goes at that time. I suspect I will because um, it's fun and I'm enjoying it. But um, have you given it that thought? So before you go and spend thousands of pounds building a rig today, um, watch lots of videos like this one um, from other people. You know, uh, um, Son of a Tech's a good one. He keeps the people up to date um, on a daily basis on what's going on. In fact, I'll share a link to to his page um, up there. He's uh, 
he'll keep you up to date on what's going on in the market um, and might help you there. Um, DJ Minds is another good one. In fact, I probably prefer how he explains things. Son of a Deck's very passionate, but he takes half an hour to tell you something you could tell you in two minutes. Um, and uh, and then, um, so maybe DJ Minds would be a good one as well. Um, I like his videos. So um, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.